Firstly, we have read data by identifier. As the name implies, this service would provide the data mapped to the data identifier present in the ECU. All the services in read data by identifier is either used to access ECU identifier information or connected device information. In the last video, we had a look into some of the common diagnostic services in diagnostic and communication management functional unit services. Continuing our discussion, let's have a look into the services present in rest of the categories. Let's now look into data transmission functional unit services. Firstly, we have read data by identifier. As the name implies, this service would provide the data mapped to the data identifier present in the ECU. All the services in read data by identifier is either used to access ECU identifier information or connected device information from the ECU. Next, we have read memory by address. This service would provide the data stored in certain memory regions as identified by the requested memory address. This service is used in cases where we have access to certain section of memory and would like to know what's stored in these sections. Next, we have read data by periodic identifier. The service would enable the transmission of identifier data periodically. Using this service, the tester can request the ECU to transmit value of the data identifier periodically to identify any dynamic changes of the value. Next, we have write data by identifier. This service would update the data mapped to the data identifier stored in the ECU. Hence, writing a new data to an identifier would change the value reported by the identifier when requested through read data by identifier. And lastly, we have write memory by address. This service would update the data stored in certain memory regions as identified by the requested memory address. The new data returned to the requested memory address would change the value reported by the memory address when requested by read memory by address service. With this, we have completed the data transmission functional unit services. Let's now look into the stored data transmission functional unit services. Firstly, we have the clear diagnostic information. This service shall clear the fault recorder, which stores the fault or events of the ECU. All the information related to fault shall be erased when clear diagnostic information is requested. Next, we have read DTC information. This service shall provide the fault information stored in the fault recorder of the ECU. The tester usually uses read DTC information service to get the number of faults stored in the ECU and then to further debug on the faults. These were the two services which were present in stored data transmission functional units. Next, we have a look into the input output control functional unit service, which comprises of input output control by identifier service. This service would provide ways to control the input or output device connected to the ECU. The service is used to diagnose different input and output devices connected to the ECU. Next, we have routine functional unit service, which comprises of routine control service. This service shall provide commands to ECU to perform routines, which could affect the functionality of the ECU. Routines are set of actions that the ECU has to perform to get to a state expected by the tester. And lastly, we have the upload download functional unit services. These services are bootloader specific services, which include request download service. As the name implies, this service would enable the download of software blocks into the flash ROM memory of the ECU. Request Upload Service This service would enable the upload of the data blocks present in the memory of the ECU to the tester or diagnostic tool. Then we have the Transfer Data Service. This service would transfer the data from the tester 
or vice versa depending on if the request download or request upload is requested prior to this service. And lastly, we have request transfer exit service. This service would exit the transfer of data to or from the issue. The service is called at the end of the download or upload after the transfer data service. So with this, we have covered the overview of all the commonly used diagnostic services. In upcoming session, we'll go a bit deeper into specifics of each service. Thank you.